with them, he said, Behold, the days come, said the Lord, when I will make a new covenant with the house of Israel and with the house of Judah. That's the new covenant. The house of Israel, the house of Judah, the New Testament is about Israel coming back and having the laws written in their hearts. Read. Not according to the covenant that I made with them and their fathers in the day when I took them by, by hand. Verse 10. For this is the, the, the for, excuse me. For this is the covenant that I will make with them the house of Israel after those days. So he say, this is the covenant he's going to make with us. What's a covenant? It's an agreement. It's a contract. It's a responsibility you got to each other. Right? Saith the Lord, I will put my laws into their mind. I will do what? I will put my laws. My what? My laws. My faith. My laws. My disobedience. My laws. My religion. My laws. My denomination. My laws. He said, I'm going to put my law in their heart. A lawyer. So how in the hell is a nigga going to get on TV and say we don't got to keep the laws of the Bible? When the Bible just said the law is going to be put in our heart. Right, it's upset. How can any white man, lion, demon, pale face, demon, Edomite, Gentile, satanic devil tell you we don't got to keep the laws of the Bible? That's straight up satanic right there. That's right. You gotta teach a man to disobey God Almighty? Who are you supposed to be, man? God Almighty said don't do something, that's what it is. Read. And write them in their heart. And I will be uh I will, oh, yeah. and I will be uh, to them a God. And they shall uh, be to me a people. So they're gonna write the law in our heart. And we got some papers if y'all interested, we sit back and read. Are y'all brothers want some papers over there? Y'all want some paper to read? All right, you know this is for you, right? This is your people, man. You the real Jews, man. And you gotta come back to the laws of the Bible. Because race wars is coming to America. And it's gonna be us against everybody who against this Bible, man. So if you're with this Bible, and you're with the laws of the Bible, you're gonna be on the right side. If you're against the Bible, and if you ain't obeying the Bible, then death is going to be seeking you. You're going to be in a FEMA camp. You're going to be a casualty of war. Because you reject the truth of the Bible, man. All you got to do is obey what the Heavenly Father said to do. What the Most High God said to do. That's the easiest thing. That's the mercy and the love of the Most High. All he said is obey his Bible, obey his laws. Give me 1 John 3 and 4. So the words of the Most High God, the words of the Most High God are what we're supposed to be living by, not your own imagination or what your preachers say. Not the words of what your preachers say, According to what the Bible is talking about. First John 3 and 4. Whosoever commits sin transgresses also the law. Sin is when you break the laws of the Bible. Plain and simple. That's all sin is. Get a brother a paper, man, over in the car right there. That's all sin is. Sin is just when you break the laws of the Bible. Alright? Alright? For sin is transgression of the law. So sin is when you break the laws of the Bible, man. That's all sin is. You the black people are the Jews that the Bible is talking about. And you know Christ is the black man. Christ is not no white man. Christ is the man that came to show you how to get right with the Heavenly Father. You gotta return to what the Bible is talking about, man. You gotta learn the Torah. You gotta learn the laws of the Bible. Yeah, he on the job making that MRDD money. Making that paper. Then I come back to the Sabbath day. We got to Martin, cut all see. that out. Martin. And not work on the Sabbath day Martin. when you come back to the laws of the Bible. It's your turn. Martin. Okay, so now the Bible says sin is transgression of what? Take that. Sin, sin is a transgression of the law. Hold it, you're going to be in trouble. Right? 
And you know that. You can't. We have to hold something. And you know that he was manifest right, to take on. away Don't our sin. Don't let it fall. You're going to miss me. And then. And then. And find the heart. Come on. Go to the brother, too. All right, so you know he was what? And you know that he was manifest to take away sin. Hey, it's the brother that got in the back seat over there, too. I want him to have left out. So, yeah, so Christ came to take away our sin because he broke the laws of the Bible. That's why Christ was set up as the Messiah to die for your sins. Okay? Read. Oh, there, Whosoever abideth in him sinneth not. Meaning what? Whoever is in Christ try to keep the laws of the Bible. The laws of Moses, man. That's what everything is about down here. You on this earth to see if you're going to heaven or if you're going to hell to burn forever in the fire. Or if you're going to be rewarded by the Most High God as a king and a priest to rule forever. Exodus 19 and 6, Revelation 1 and 6. That's what everything is about. We And he has made us kings and priests. He's going to make us what? And he has made us kings and priests. He's going to make us to be kings and priests. The children of Israel, which are the black people in America, Central America, South America, and the Caribbean. We are the 12 tribes of Israel, and we got to return to the laws of the Bible. Return to the commandments, read, unto God and his Father. To him be glory and dominion forever and ever. Amen. So return to Allah and his Father. All right. And this is the real building. Not the masonry that you're dealing with, brother. This is the real building right here. Building the nation. Building Israel. Read. Isaiah 19 and 6. And we shall be unto me a kingdom of priests. So the Heavenly Father said that Israel is going to be a kingdom of priests. You know what? Our whole nation of people are going to be kings, and we're going to be given spiritual instructions as the Israelites to the other nations, to our sons and daughters, as the children of Israel. We are the children of Israel. We got to come back to the laws of the Bible. And get that paper, to get that uh, sister a paper. This is our second time going around the block trying to get this word. You need to get a paper and get this truth in your, in your mind. All right, read. A holy nation. A what? A holy nation. A nation of whores. A holy nation. What about coke sniffing? A holy nation. Sniffing dog food. A holy nation. Man, you a holy people, man. You are holy people. You were the chosen people of the Most High God, but you were wicked. We was disobedient to the Most High. So he put us in slavery. He put us in chains under the white man for 400 years. He put us under the Egyptians. He put us under Babylon. He put us under Assyria. He put us under the Chinese. He put us under the Arabs. Why? Because we broke the laws of the Bible, man. And you got the nerve to teach people they don't got to keep the laws of the Bible. You don't got to take this thing serious. So I said we're going to be a holy people and a holy nation. These are the words which thou shalt speak unto the children of Israel. Unto who? Israel. Unto the Baptist? Israel. Seventh day of Venice. Israel. The Bible said that Israel is a holy people. We the holy people, 